we're getting ready to head into TJ Maxx for a little browsing, window shopping. I feel weird doing these intros because I always have something on my lips, always some kind of lip color. But with wearing masks now, <laughs> I don't want to get everything smudged everywhere. So I just put lip balm on now and that's it. But it always looks different to me because I'm not used to wearing just bare lips like this. Anyway, we're getting ready to go in. My daughter's with me again, keeping me company. And we're going to go see if we can find some good things. All right, here we go into TJ Maxx. $60 for that camera bag from Michael Kors. That's really cheap. Normally $168 and it's $59.99. The burgundy version. So pretty. This is Cynthia Rowley. This is $29.99. But it looks exactly to me like an MZ Wallace tote that is so popular right now. Really like this one. $150 for this coach bag. Really cute satchel. I like these Aldo bags. Michael Kors for $109. This Bagley Mishka bag is almost exactly like my Michael Kors Sloan editor bag that I just purchased. And this is $25. This really pretty red crock print. These are London Fog and these are only $25 a piece, but they look like designer bags to me. So, kind of cute. Another London Fog for only $25 and again, it's just giving me designer kind of vibes. This thing is so wide, but Marc Jacobs, $150. $15 for these Steve Madden belt bags and you can take the bag off. So then you just have a $15 belt, so I feel like for that price, they're worth trying. Cute poncho that's a little bit of Burberry style, $20. I have a lot of Ray-Bans, they have a wallet and sunglasses. And these are only $15 and they're really pretty. Oriana necklace for $12.99. Paste palettes for $20, this Lorac palette. $3.99 and then I got this Beverly Hills palette, Moonchild, $12.99. We got Dr. Hoshka, Kate Somerville, just found this Clinique Moisture Surge. Lots of good perfumes today. Kind of want to try this one. A lot of shoes here today, but they do have a few good things. How cute would these be with leggings? 20 bucks. I think they have leather inside too. So they're super comfy. Steve Madden's for $25. Look exactly like some shoes I wanted from the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale. And these are only $30. There you go, old school. Like the feather flats by Steve Madden, but they are only $19.99. Very cute vibe, but they remind me of the Steve Madden quilted shoes. And 20 bucks. Be super cute with those Spanx leggings. I love these. Love. Never got any of these before, but these are jockey and they're $16.99. And honestly, these feel like the same kind of fabric the Zola live in leggings felt like to me. They're very thick, but they're not like super nylon-y feeling like some leggings. They feel more cottony even though they aren't a cotton. So this is what I was talking about. Thread and supply and this looks exactly like the one I just purchased in the Nordstrom anniversary sale but it's $25. It's really pretty color. A little like yoga style pants. These are a small petite so I can't get them but $16.99 they are so, so warm. I've got this fleece lining. It's an amazing price. My daughter and I always love all of the food section. I was hoping for some matcha tea, but I'm not seeing any over here. I can't wait for Halloween, and I can't believe there's already candy corn. I'm <laughs> so excited. We just got a new table, and these table runners are really pretty. Gotta love the buffalo check. The water bottles. This is really pretty. Loved this blue and white. How pretty is this? It's gorgeous. What is that? Four dollars. 
Mommy, look at these vintage vintage shakers. They're pretty. I love this. And five dollars for this. It's so pretty. I could spend all day just in the candle section. This candle is forty dollars, but look at this. This is the size of my hand. Seven wick candle, and it smells amazing. This one's only thirty-five, and it looks like a tree trunk. I mean. That's incredible, it's a huge candle. Another section I could spend all day in is the pillows. I found the pumpkin. It's even a unicorn pumpkin. Guys. Way too many things here. Way too many. Cashier number four, please. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Okay, so just quickly things that are definite no's. This leopard sweater, it's so soft, really, really nice quality, but it was a little too cropped for me, um, a little too boxy, and so that's going to have to go back. I think this t-shirt, um, my husband kind of rolled his eyes when he saw it and thought it was a little presumptuous. Um, I don't know, I thought it was cute. I like graphic tees for one and um, I'm a writer. I write a lot in my spare time. That's like my therapy. So that's where I was going with that. But I don't know, he didn't see it that way. So let me know what you think about that. Um, unfortunately, these shoes that you saw me try on, I love these and I think they're great quality. Um, I got the eight and a halfs, like I said, I'm usually eight and a half to nine. Um, and they were a good price, but they are a little bit too snug, too narrow. And so unfortunately, even though I think they'd be great with leggings, these are going back too. And then last but not least is a huge pile of gray, black, and white t-shirts that are too boring to show you individually. They don't fit or they fit and I don't like the fit, so they're going back. Okay, I know the lighting is not great in here, but I just wanted to quickly show you the things that I picked up, what I'm actually keeping or what I think I'm keeping from our TJ Maxx haul. And this is a Michael Kors sweater. It is a tunic length sweater, which is going to be perfect since I apparently wear these faux leather leggings all the time now. Uh, these are the Wild Fable brand, by the way. But it's just a plain, simple tunic sweater. I like the kind of rounded hem there. And it's just very long, so it's just going to be perfect for that. And then I found these shoes, which you probably saw me try on. And these are from Tommy Bahama. And I just thought they were cute. They're a canvas material, slip-on sneaker. And I think they look really cute with the leggings. So that's the first outfit. I'm going to give you the names of all of these things just in case I can't link them. TJ Maxx is weird with their website and trying to find things, but I know they have a lot of the same brands in every TJ Maxx, so I'm sure you can find similar things, even if you can't online. Um, this is a elbow length tee, and it is kind of, I guess, a tunic tee, just barely, um, from Cynthia Rowley. And I just liked the length of this again for wearing with leggings and I got this in the white and then I also got a black version just a simple tee but it is a nice weight and so I think it's gonna be good for pretty much any time of year and it's very comfortable it's not all nylony and scratchy like the some of those tees it actually feels like soft cotton okay. same tee in the black I just wanted to show real quickly but I just like that it's just long enough for leggings and just this all black look with the leopard print or just black shoes, black booties. I just think that is so chic. I love it. Can't get enough of the all black right now. <laughs> and I liked it before, but now that I have these leggings, it's like, sure, let's just do this all the time. All right. I apologize for the lighting in here, but I just wanted to show you guys these things really quickly. This is a kind of grayish, I guess, beigey gray sweater and it is ribbed. This is by the brand Philosophy and this was $20. It has these zipper details and I've got one zipped up all the way to make it snug or you can have it kind of open however you want to do. And this is an interesting sweater for me because if I like pull it down, I don't know, I've got that T underneath it so it makes it a little 
weird, but I can really almost make it tunic length if I want to. But I can also, and I would wear this with jeans, by the way, too, just as much as leggings. But if I wanted to wear it as a shorter top, it just kind of scrunches up on its own, and I think it looks cute that way, too, especially with jeans. Um, it is a bat wing top, so there's lots of room here. So I actually got this in an extra small. I picked it up in the medium, and then I saw the extra small, and I compared the two, and now I put the medium right back because this is incredibly oversized. Um, I mean, right here, you don't need any extra room, so we're good. But I really like this top. I think it's something different, but it's a color that I'm comfortable with. I love my neutrals, so I think this is going to be nice and cozy for fall and winter. Okay, here's the shirt that got me the eye roll. So, I don't know, you tell me. Is it presumptuous or braggy or is it cute? I thought it was kind of cute, but I don't know. Let me know what you think. This is what I need help with. What do we think about this? This whole belt bag situation. First of all, I am not ever tempted to get one that actually looks like the fanny pack from the 90s. Um you know, that shape and the nylon, I can't do it. That's going a little too far for me. But I don't know, guys. I mean, I don't hate it. I know for most people, it's a very strong opinion of either it's great or it's disgusting and no one should ever wear it. Um, I'm going to try on the other one real quick. Here's the other one. These are both by Steve Madden, by the way. And I kind of like this tan better, actually than the black but I don't know what's cool about them I think is that they're just a regular belt so if you don't want this on here you slip it off it's got little loops and then it's just a regular belt so I mean it's still kind of practical even if you didn't wear it like I don't know my phone fits in here I have an enormous phone and I just we just got new phones and so the fact that it fits in here is kind of a miracle, so then that's another thing. I'm like, I could put my phone and my keys and I'd be hands-free. Is it 290s? Is it 280s? Am I trying too hard with this? Let me know what you think. Okay, I just wanted to show the details and explain this a little bit more. So first of all, these were each $15. Yeah, $15. And they have just one zipper and there is, I don't believe, any... Let's see. Let's find out together. Yeah, there aren't any pockets or any card slots, anything like that. It's just one open compartment. Um, and then this is what I was talking about on the back. So they slip onto the belt, and then you can remove that and just have a belt. And this one, actually, they both have um, the holes that go all the way around the belt, so you can adjust this. Um, I don't know... I just can't decide. This one reminds me a lot of like, I don't know, a YSL, like if you had, didn't have a logo here. I mean, that's what that looks like to me. And then this, I just like the color. I just think that goes with everything. But <laughs> let me know what you think. I'm really torn on these. My husband says he won't be around me when I'm wearing them. And uh, my kids are not sure because they didn't live through the 80s and 90s. <laughs> but I don't know. I have I have mixed feelings. I did get this moisture surge too. This is normally uh, $22 for the one ounce. And it was $15. So I thought that was kind of a good deal. This was a $6.99 t-shirt from Bazolo. And this is also a tunic length tee. It's a lot longer than the Cynthia Rally actually and covers everything that I want covered. So this is gonna be great for leggings. I think this will be good to layer as well. Um, put a sweater over it. This one is good. This one makes me feel really good. You know, when you just have one of those tops or outfits where you just feel confident and cute and everything, every flaw is hidden and it's just perfect. This is what this top is. So this is an almost elbow length sleeve really really thick sweater this is from Tahari and it is a very very soft and cozy sweater it has a little uh, gold brand tag right there but it is a peplum sweater and how cute is that I just love this I think it's slightly longer in the back maybe but I just love the way it flares out a little bit 
and I don't know, I could wear it with this. I think it would look really good with like a skinny jean, just a really clean cut skinny jean. Um, but I think it looks fine with these leggings too. Just really, really like this. Last top, this is a ribbed, uh, like a horizontal ribbed um, turtleneck sweater from the brand Pink Rose. And it is on the shorter side. It actually reminds me a little bit of that grazy kind of one uh, that I showed earlier as far as the fit. Because we have a little bit of the bat wing sleeves too. Um, and I can pull this down a little bit too if I wanted to. But I like it kind of scrunched up more. I just think that's, I don't know, I like it. Uh, and then it has this cuff on the sleeve that has makes it kind of a puff sleeve at the end and I think that's really flattering and pretty and then I like the turtleneck because it is a loose turtleneck um, I love the look of turtlenecks but if they are really constricting then I'm you know gonna lose my mind in two seconds <laughs> I can't handle that so I thought that this was good I just put on um, some jeans these are from my first Express haul if you missed that these are so good so I will link that and then I just kept on the same leopard print shoes. I think that actually looks really good with jeans, too. I'm going to show you one more no, but I wanted to put it on so you could appreciate what I was talking about. Um, this is a, like, Ruana kind of poncho thing. Um, and it was $20. It is a very, very thick fleece. It feels like one of those really, really thick homemade fleece blankets. You know what I'm talking about. We've all made one. Um... That's reversible too, so you could have the solid black or you could have the plaid. Um, but it's just a one size fits all, and I feel like it's just too much fabric. I hope you guys enjoyed this shop with me and this uh, little try on haul that I didn't plan to do, but that's what ended up happening. That's what ends up happening every time you go to TJ Maxx, right? Uh, but if you enjoyed this, then I hope that you subscribe. Click like. My goal is to film videos two times a week and hopefully have a Friday favorites in there for you as well. So I hope that you're enjoying that. But we had a good time today and I hope that you did too. And I'll talk to you later.